Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about where price is going, what, what it means to be a draw on liquidity, and how you can identify it. Price is always going to an old high or an old low, otherwise known as liquidity. That is the draw on liquidity, it's the draw on price. Um, when Michael talks about a high resistance versus a low resistance run on liquidity, let me give you an example of what those different things look like. So on the regular trading hours, if you see our New York open price here, low, um, after price put in a high this morning after CPI, it drew down to that low. Now it went further, yes, into the regular trading hours gap, but you could have easily identified there that price was drawing to that low. Okay, now I use two different lines on my trading view. I have sell side liquidity in light blue, buy side liquidity in red. This will outline to me um, both, both liquidity pools, higher, higher time frame liquidity pools. A low resistance liquidity run looks like the example that we had this morning from point A, the high, through point B, which was the low. You only had one really retracement to deal with there. Had you gotten in on a short up near the top and aimed for that low, you only had one real retracement to deal with. That is an example of a low resistance liquidity run. Now I want to give you an example, another example. Let's do one more example of a low resistance liquidity run. come back to Friday the 7th of July's trading we notice that price had put in a number of lows on Thursday during the PM session on Friday price put in a high and then ran on that sell side liquidity and it ran with virtually no retracement in a very strong move past the past these short term lows and to the higher time frame objective and even beyond it so that would be a beautiful example of a low resistance liquidity run where your targets and your profit limits and life is going to seem easy. You know that price is drawing down to this group of lows down here. Price reaches an objective to the upside and then draws back down to the sell side liquidity. What does a high resistance liquidity run look like? And and um, you know, how can you how can you work with a high resistance liquidity run? So Let's put in a low here, right? And let's say that we had a high here. Make that buy side liquidity. And I'll leave this as sell side liquidity. If you were sitting down here after price had delivered that low, you know that price is probably going to draw back up to that high as there's liquidity up there but it took price multiple retracements and some difficulty to deliver that high that is a high, resist high resistance liquidity run okay um, it does reach the objective it delivers liquidity uh, but it does it with some struggle similarly on the way back down you can see that price um, didn't actually even reach the, the longer term sell side liquidity but it did deliver some short term lows. Price is always drawing to liquidity which is why you should always have a high and a low outlined on your chart because it will tell you um, alright there would be buy side liquidity and there would be sell side liquidity. Now how price chooses to get there all right, I'm going to take two of these off here. I'll just leave one on. Okay, move one on. Sorry, I'm just um just working with this top top step reset and I'm gonna let price do its thing um, I don't think that price should get all the way down 
down to our ultimate target, but I'm just going to go ahead and be ambitious with one contract and just kind of let, you know, let, let it see how it happens. So notice here on my chart, today's trading is a really good example of it. Okay. Price first drew to this low. Okay. And it made a run on it. Then in the lunch session, we made a low. And it was drawing up to this buy side liquidity, but failed to get there, but delivered this short term high. Now, price is moving back down. It's going to draw back to the sell side liquidity. Whether it delivers that or not, I don't know. But I know that that is where it's drawing. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's really not a question of knowing where price is going. You know that price is going to an old high or an old low. The real difficulty in trading or the where the art form is is not knowing where price is going because you know it's going to liquidity you know that it's going to a, an old low or an old height but you don't know exactly when price is going to deliver it so for example we take a look on our electronic trading hours four hour chart let's hide the drawings or let's uh, price delivered this high okay but it did most of the work during the CPI release right here. Waited all week for the CPI release and then it made its big move up into that old old high where the buy side liquidity was. And I hate to break it to you friends, but oftentimes that is gonna be the case. Um, price will deliver. It, it delivers, okay? It delivers old highs and it delivers old lows. But you don't know always when it's gonna do that. And sometimes it might do it during a very difficult time for you to enter like, Basically, you had to be in prior to CPI uh, with a few contracts, and then you would have had to you would have had to have been in the trade during the CPI release this morning. Okay, so maybe maybe you got long in the London session or something. But basically, my friends, that is where price is going. Everything starts from the draw on liquidity. Map out an old high and an old low. The PD arrays. Every PD array, whether whether it's from a turtle soup, three drives pattern, uh, fair value gap, inverted fair value gap, order block, breaker block, what are they? He calls them multipliers. They're entry mechanisms. You first have to know where is price drawing, and it's either drawing to buy side liquidity or it's drawing to sell side liquidity. Once you get comfortable with ICT trading, once you get comfortable with this notion that price has an objective and it's going to sell side or it's going to buy side, you get you get nice and comfortable with that well if I get out of this trade I'm pretty much done for the day so I'll, I'll we'll go with that let's check For example, right now, I know that price is going to draw down here, but I don't know if it's going to do that today. I don't know if it's going to do it in the overnight session. Um, but I know that it will end up drawing down to this sell side liquidity. And I don't know whether it's going to be a high resistance run with lots of lots of retracement, and I don't, or if it's going to be low uh, resistance, it's just going to get down there with ease. Everything that Michael does, everything that he teaches, starts from this. Map out an old high and map out an old low. Price is going to one of those, it's going to go towards one of those two directions. So most of the time it is going to deliver, sometimes it's going to wait for a longer time. So for example, we get on our four hour chart, we have lows, right? We have sell side liquidity much lower um, that has not been tapped into and it might be weeks before it comes back. But it will come back, guys. There's liquidity down there and, and that's what price does is it delivers. Over time, you will see that all of these lows will get delivered. So we will have retracements on the NASDAQ at some point um, that will come down and take out the sell side liquidity. But it might take a long time to do that. And so guys, the art form is is uh, really the timing. The, the PD arrays are what he calls multipliers. You know where price is going. It's going to old highs or it's going to old lows. The only ever exception to that is if price is, is in um, price exploration, so if it's a new all-time high. Otherwise, you know it's going to an old high or it's going to an old low. 
but you don't always know when it's going to do that and it might do that at a very strange time or a very difficult time for you to enter like an economic release so CPI this morning was a good example of that um, and it, what is a high resistance liquidity run lots of retracements on the way to the target a low resistance liquidity run it just flies to the target without without a whole lot of retracement so that's what he means when he says high resistance versus low resistance so if you want to be in a good habit of ICT trading take one high and one low mark it as sell side mark it as buy side and over time you'll see uh, you'll get a feel for okay this is I think price is going here now I think we just delivered uh, buy side and now I think we're going to sell side we're gonna draw to that sell side whether it delivers or not now guys when should you be flat like when should you not be in a trade after you see that price has just delivered buy side or sell side um, that's a good chance that's a good time to take a pause um, if you're not on like a turtle soup entry or whatever it's a good time to take a pause so guys that's where price is going it's going to an old high or it's going to an old low it is always going there uh, the question is always you know when is it going to do it and is it going to do it with a high resistance or a low resistance so all right um, I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. This has been a discussion on the draw on liquidity or where price is going. I also discussed um, what the PD arrays are. Uh, they are multipliers. They're entry mechanisms. And I also discussed um, that sometimes you're, you know the timing can be difficult. All right, guys. That's been a discussion on where price is going. Bye-bye.